What's going on guys? So I'm out here at the new toolbox and doing a couple little modifications to it now that it's in. If you didn't watch the video on this toolbox, it is the better built low profile SLE edition toolbox with these really cool shotgun style latches which are above the bed rails. So having a low profile toolbox with shotgun latches above the bed rails is a really good thing if you're hauling a fifth wheel. Some people ask me why I didn't go with the WeatherGuard low profile toolbox. Well first of all if I went with their higher quality low profile toolbox the triggers would have been below the bed rails which means the bed cover would have covered it and I wouldn't have been able to get to them without rolling up the bed cover. Secondly, if I would have gone with the lower end, the Defender Series Weather Guard, I'm not a big fan of the latching system. It's definitely a lot more flimsy than the much higher grade system that's on the higher end box. But the problem with it is that it sits almost two inches higher than this one. So this one sits four inches above the bed rails. The Weather Guard Defender sits almost six inches above the bed rail. And the Weather Guard, the primary one that I used to have, sits seven and a quarter inches. So the higher end Weather Guard toolbox doesn't sit sit much lower than the normal weather guard toolbox and again it would put the latches underneath the bed cover which I didn't want. I think most people who want a functional toolbox and a bed cover if they haul fifth wheels they want the latches above and it makes it easier just to grab something out of your toolbox without worrying about having to roll up your bed cover which takes much longer of course. So what I'm going to be doing today is installing this piece of sealant across the back of the toolbox. Basically where the toolbox butts up against the back of the bed here, there's a little gap. If water runs down this, it can get into the truck. Now I'm not under any illusion that this is going to be watertight, but it's definitely going to be better and it's going to limit the amount of water that can make it into the bed of the truck whenever it's raining hard. So the first thing I did was use some 91% rubbing alcohol, cleaned off the back of the toolbox really well so this 3M adhesive will stick better, and then I will apply this to it. Second modification I'm doing today is one I told you guys about. I bought this on Amazon. This is basically a toolbox liner. You roll it out across the bottom of the toolbox and it just protects the bottom and adds a little bit of cushion so it's not as easy to damage if you put stuff inside of the toolbox. So these two upgrades are going on today. Shouldn't take any time at all. Okay guys, so I have the liner all the way across the bottom, it reached from one end all the way to the other end, and I had about six to eight inches worth of leftover, so I just kind of overlapped it there at the end for a little bit extra cushion. Looks really good. So check this out. When I close it, this is how easy it is to open. There it is. Again, this is Better Built's higher line. They have four lines of toolboxes, one of them being a strictly commercial line that you see on utility trucks and such, which I didn't get. This is the SLE, which is one step below that, but it's still their premium high-end line of toolbox. Another thing I love is when you can close it from one end and the whole thing latches shut, so it's latched on both sides. Again, the locking mechanism is really nice. They completely conceal the connection rod in this channel here, which is super nice. And that's a big difference. My weather guard, even though it kind of concealed it with some plastic flaps on each side, the rod was still visible in this section. So the rod on this one's completely concealed. It has these really nice guides right here to guide the latches into the right spot. Overall, though, this is a very, very nice toolbox, and I love how low profile it is. And you can see it's pretty deep, too. So the overall depth from the inside is about 12 and a half inches. As you can see, it fits everything real well. I love these little side pockets here. I put my little wire strippers. I put some other little things that are kind of extra in these little pockets on the side. Absolutely love them. But, yeah, this is my toolbox, and just a quick update, because I know a lot of people wondered why I didn't get a weather guard low profile, and the fact is, it's not as low profile, and to get one that's even close requires me going to the lowest model of weather guard, which is the Defender. I'd much rather go with the highest model of the better built and have a much more secure bed. And I don't know if you can see in there, but I put the piece of weather stripping, I attached it to the back of the toolbox here, wiped it clean with alcohol, and ran it all the way across the back. So any water that runs down off of the top here is going to go right off the back of that weather seal and go down into the area between the bed and the cab versus going into the back of the bed. That's exactly how I wanted it. That's how I had my weather guard as well. But just adds a little bit more, I guess, water tightness. I'm not trying to get this thing sealed up, but if I can avoid large quantities of water getting in, that's kind of the purpose. 
And while I'm reloading the toolbox, let me show you a product that I got in that replaces a lot of bulky pieces of equipment I keep in my toolbox. This is a torque adapter. It's made by Performance Tools. It comes with a quarter inch and a three eighths inch adapter. It fits a half inch natively. And what you do is you attach this to the end of your ratchet, and this gives you the ability to turn a ratchet, especially one of these that extends out. If I had more than one hand, but you can extend it out, and it turns it into a torque wrench. So I don't have to carry multiple torque wrenches with me like I used to, and this takes up a lot less room, plus it has a digital readout on it, and it will go to 150 foot-pounds. So this is definitely strong enough to torque down the wheels that are on the truck, and to torque down just about any other wheels I would come across or any bolts. So this is really cool. It has both a buzzer and an LED torque indicator on it, this is only about $65. I got this one from eTrailer, and it's just designed, again, to take up that much less space as opposed to having the big torque wrench with the large case that I have to find a place for in the toolbox of the truck. Much more compact. I can keep this even inside under the seat if I want, but it takes up such little space I can just toss it in the toolbox, no problem, and I'm good to go. So I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you might be interested in. Again, I picked up this little wrench, I think at Harbor Freight. I've had this thing forever. It extends to 18 inches, works really well. Use the two in conjunction with each other, and I have a 150 foot-pound torque wrench. So that's really cool. Actually, this would probably make a really good Christmas gift for an RVer or for a loved one that you just want to carry around something compact that is cool tech and can help them out in a pinch. So, yeah, you might want to think about this as a stocking stuffer or something just to give a loved one. So there it is, the update to the toolbox that I promised you guys. Better built SLE, got it lined, got it sealed across the back. We're ready to rock and roll. Just got to reload the thing full of the stuff that I carry around with me, just emergency stuff, some small tools, um, some chalks, some things to get me out of a stuck situation like a little traction pad, stuff like that. Yeah, but overall, guys, I absolutely love how low profile this toolbox is. You can tell just by looking at it here that it only sits maybe an inch higher than the actual bed cover in the back. Something else worth noting is that the Better Built brand is owned by the same parent company as WeatherGuard. So WeatherGuard and Better Built are technically owned by the same company, which I believe is Werner Co., the company that owns the ladders. Yep, the same company that makes this ladder. But that is what it all looks like together with the bed cover closed. Let me walk over here a little bit so you can see it as well. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description again for the liner, the seal, as well as the toolbox if it's something you're interested in. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Oh yeah, also hit that notification button.